exactly how is Mitt Romney going about it? Mitt Romney isn't the only congressman with these concerns. Even some of Trump's own advisors have argued that trade negotiations and Huawei should be treated as two separate issues. So what Romney has done is he submitted an amendment to the National Defense Authorization Act, which means that certain specifications need to be met before Huawei is removed from this blacklist that it's currently on. It's this entity list, which means that American companies have to get a special license to sell components to Huawei. So the specification that he lays out are one, Huawei and its senior officials need to have not engaged in violations of U.S. or United Nations sanctions. The second is that Huawei needs to not have engaged in intellectual property theft in the preceding five years. And another condition is that Huawei needs to be deemed to not be a threat to the American telecommunication system or the system of its allies. Now, of course, U.S. intelligence officials have been saying for years that Huawei is an arm of the Chinese government and that it's been engaged in spying activities, something which Huawei has denied. And Mitt Romney and many other congressmen want to make sure that this national security issue does not become a bargaining chip in the trade negotiations. So what's the latest on the U.S. charges against Huawei regarding sanctions on Iran? Another very hot topic. This is quite an interesting legal case here. What Bloomberg News is reporting is that prosecutors are saying that some of the details in the case that's being used as evidence to charge Huawei are deemed too risky for even Huawei's lawyers to see some of it. So in order for Huawei's lawyers to know what some of the evidence is against the company, they are having to go through several interesting legal steps to be able to get there. The core issue here is that the United States sees Huawei as very close to the Chinese government, and they have to balance safeguarding some of this intelligence information while also making sure that the defendant has enough information to defend themselves properly. Of course, Huawei has already seen many setbacks from the U.S. government aside from this case. For one, we've heard Rin Zinfei, the founder, become very outspoken about some of the negative impacts that the company has felt. Recently, he said that this could cause a revenue loss of as much as $30 billion over the next two years. He's also said that the export curbs could cut into Huawei's two-year lead over its rivals like Ericsson and Nokia.